The reason that we stepped away from all this is because it was a mess behind the scenes. There was a lot going on. I think maybe certain people could handle all of that pressure, but we were not the right people for it, and we did not want to be there. And then we were not getting an easy time just walking away either. No and I don't know about... I would guess that you agree to me to some degree, but one of the biggest things was not being able to leave. Yeah, that no, drives, it is. That drives you fucking nuts. And publicly, too, we had people going like... Go. Oh, come on. What do you mean you can't leave? As in, we couldn't leave. You acknowledged it in your Tumblr post. The idea of misleading people. No, that they literally would tell people that we weren't that we weren't going to be leaving. And we would be like, no, literally, I'm I'm going over here. I always stop tell, telling people. Yeah, I, I told the story back at the time even. Why do you think I said I had a two-year lifespan? I was planning on quitting after two years. We didn't want to keep going. And what sucked about it was, I remember even, like, a roommate, our roommate we had at the time, he came up to me one day saying, like, oh, yeah, like, he talked to me about it. I was like, wait, you got talked to about it? And he said, yeah, like, a bunch of people are talking to me about it. They've been, like, pulling me aside when you guys go out sometimes to tell me about it, that they're worried about you guys quitting. And I had to tell him, like, no one has said a word to me about it. In fact, every time that I bring up that we want to be done, they don't even acknowledge it. They pretend like I didn't even say anything. It's maddening. It's what all this was, too, in front of people. Once again, imagine living your life this way, that you are speaking fact. You are directly bringing up real things. And on a daily basis, literally every single person you say it to insists it's not real or they tune you out. I felt like I was going nuts. It sucked. But yeah, that's why it wasn't even a thing we could walk away from. We wanted to. The audience didn't want us to. Internally, people didn't want us to. All over the place, people didn't want us to. I remember being told at one point, whether I like it or not, all of this stuff is my responsibility. So that did a good job of, like, guilting me even harder. The idea of you can't go anywhere because whether you like it or not, people are going to associate you with all of these different people. So anything you do reflects everybody else. So therefore, you can't do anything. I got told that, and not by one person. I got to be told that by like seven different people, the idea of you can't do what you want to do because what about everyone else? What, what if they start treating us weird because you're not hanging out with us anymore? You're not acknowledging things like, or you are acknowledging things like this. I should say more so acknowledging things. Go. I can't think of anything I was gonna not acknowledge. I was fine to acknowledge everything, and that's what I constantly had complaints about. Can I call it out? Because I'll call it out. I don't even want to be mean about this necessarily, but I'll fucking do it. I may as well just say it. And Julian, you're here too. You can say it as well because Julian has wanted to, he's already yeah. acknowledged it on his stream. I'm sorry that I'm half asleep. It's it probably okay. takes away some of the potency of we it. We didn't expect Matt to come by because Matt actually has not been communicating me, with me for a while. Matt will only come in on occasion for like weird public stuff to show that we're still talking. But he rarely will ever respond to messages that I send. And on Julian's end, he hasn't even, like, tried to reach he out li to him. Matt literally hasn't talked to me since before we left L.A., yeah, right? Like, I think so. Probably around the Dream Daddy time. And he was trying to make it into a thing, too, of like, well, it's because Julian I know is mad at me. But he's mad because he was the one that showed us the Dream Daddy build. The reason Matt has been doing this performance publicly is because he doesn't want to acknowledge what happened. And it's in the past, it's over with. But man, with all the damage it fucking did and that every step of the way I was telling him how much this was hurting us, it's why it hurt. It hurt a lot to be in a spot like that. Matt, I'm sorry. On one end, I'm acknowledging it here publicly, but at the same time, it's in the past anyways. It already went by. You apologized to my end for it. But you also apologize behind the scenes because I know you don't want people to actually understand what had happened to you. We were even going to hang out with him in L.A. And he kind of went back on a lot of it. And then I just wasn't receiving messages. A lot of it. You're still trying to. I know. I'm you're trying still to be trying friendly to cushion about it. it. I'm trying to be friendly about it because I don't want to fucking have a fight. That's why when he did that, it was like, come on, don't do this. You're deliberately trying to make this awkward because you're hoping I'm not going to talk about this stuff. The reason we saw Dream Daddy is because Matt sent us the build. And a lot of the people at the office were talking to us about it too. I could go through names. One of them specifically showed me like a fucking 80 paragraph email he was going to be sending off to them. And said like, yeah, so you're, I've been listing all these complaints too. So if you're going to be saying something on stream, 
Uh, here, read over this because we could probably get on the same wavelength. I had everybody coming to me one by one saying like, so if you're going to talk about it, here's what you should bring up. Matt went out for ramen with me and Chris the night before I brought it up. He insisted it didn't happen when everybody was there. Julian, you were there for uh, it. Yeah, physically I was there, like literally in person. And not only that, I even remember what happened was we were getting into an argument about it because I was telling Julian, I'm scared. I'm scared to talk about this publicly because I know this is not worth it. He was getting mad because he wanted to talk about it because he said, everyone at the office is mad. Everybody's getting hurt by this. They're all coming to us because they're too scared to say something themselves. And as we were having our argument, outside the window, we could hear them coming up to the door because they just arrived. They went, hello? You guys in there? And we went, uh-oh. Hello? We shouted it out the window. They went, hey! They were at our doors, so we had to drop our conversation we went out. During that time that we went out then, on my phone, I was being sent messages of, like, things I should list off, things I should say. So that's why if any of it sounded out of character, it's because it was. I was trying to speak up for a lot of people there. So that's why, if you guys are wondering about that one with Matt doing all the subscriptions, it's why, Matt, seriously, contact me back. I'm refunding you on those. I'm mad that you also did them as subscriptions because that makes this harder. That means Twitch gets that money. So I'm just going to be paying you money out of my pocket, but I don't care. I don't I don't like that you did that. I wish we could have been friends. I'll say that too with Matt. I guess that's why I'm still trying to be sort of friendly about this, even though at the same time it's kind of hard to. I would have liked to have been friends with Matt. Julian watched. I was very desperate. I kept laying down and doing these things of being apologetic when I shouldn't have been because I was just so desperate to be able to go back to hanging out again. They blew us off for a solid year. When they said they weren't going to, they blew us off for a solid year in LA after this happened. And afterwards, when I talked to them finally about it, I finally got to have Matt acknowledge that yes, he was doing that because he didn't want to get in trouble himself. He said he at least admitted later on to like, Aaron about everything that yes he did show us it yes he told us about it and once again you guys wouldn't know any of this would you because this was completely behind the scenes the only thing that was up front in public was that we initially said something and it got to be bizarre and weird which is why for so many years you guys were insisting I guess these guys are just weird and they just do things to be erratic no it's because people were just trying to cover this up the entire time the reason that people were even trying to like keep us happy was just so we wouldn't say anything once again, half the people we knew were paranoid about anything ever coming out about the things they were doing behind the scenes. That's why, Matt, I would have liked to have been friends. I would have liked to have hung out. That L.A. trip for me was kind of the final confirmation of you're too prioritizing like of your work that you're not going to listen to us. What's important for you is kind of the public appearance and not actually being there as friends. And that's too bad, because I can't do that. I can't be friends with a character. I'm sorry it had to be this way, because if you didn't do that, Matt, I actually wouldn't have brought this up this way. But yeah, the 150 subscriptions, I think it was sort of a performative thing to go alongside that. I haven't heard from him in a couple of months now. Not that I haven't tried. I reached out to him. I just didn't respond. When we were in LA, he wanted to hang out, and I told him where we were. I said, just send me a message whenever you can hang out. And never even just send never a, you never a message. message. So that's why, even with that, it's a frustrating thing. And the thing is, I understand it, too, because he's busy with work. That's what he's prioritizing. But that's why, on my own end, I don't really want to prioritize that for myself. I already got hurt by this, and I'm not being shown that anything's going to go any differently here. So I just, I don't want to be a part of it. But yeah, sorry, I didn't want to necessarily give that context, but it's true. People are coming in saying, like, so are the 150 subs a, a bit? You know what I'll say about all these bits? The, the same thing I said earlier Early on when we were doing stuff, I remember when, and I'm not saying one or two people, a ton of people, wanted to stage having a big fake fight. And I didn't think anything of it at the time. I thought it was a joke. But what I had to realize afterwards was, I get why we're doing this. We're having a fake fight, so whenever we have a real fight, nobody can tell the difference. And that's why somebody would come in and see that and go, oh, I guess the 150 subscriptions were like a bit. It was like a comedy bit. No, it was awkwardness is what it was. That's what that was. I'm sorry, Matt. I am. I didn't want to put you on the spot like this. I really didn't. Tournament, go. But once again, you kind of did it to yourself by hopping in here. I would have liked to have been friends. And there, there was just no way I think this was ever going to work. And it goes for a lot of this. I feel bad for a lot of it still because it's like, I didn't want this all to go this way. If you guys are wondering why I still had all that guilt, it's because of feelings like that where it's like, 
I don't want this to go wrong. I mean, they're mad at me. And if they're mad at me, that means I'm doing something bad. When in most cases, it's they're mad at you because you're acknowledging how they're hurting you. If you want these things to work out, they expect you to lay down and shut up and just keep getting yourself hurt. He wasn't the only one. Literally everybody that told us to speak up about it threw us under at the time. Everyone. Literally everyone. Julian, you could say that too, right? I can't think yeah. of anybody. I can't think of a single soul. No, even the one even the one who showed you his big email turned out he didn't end up sending it. Yep, he didn't even send it. He was just trying to get me to say something. It was a disaster internally. And if you guys were wondering why some of them were starting to make nice publicly with me, it's because I just accepted all the fault for it. And they kind of went, all right, well, he's had his power taken away from him, so I guess he's safe now. Yeah, the damage was done and it fucking sucked because the damage was done. I'm not kidding. We are blacklisted in a few places now after all of this shit. I got to see messages that they were going around and trying to do stuff behind the scenes. And when I say they, I'm not talking about Matt here. I'm talking about lots of just other people. Even, even surprisingly, someone I knew prior from game work, uh, like a project I was working on. But yeah, we've been blacklisted heavily. We got sabotaged left and right after all of this. It's why our viability is like pfft, nothing. A lot of people have lumped this exclusively onto my end, so I know on my end, things are pretty much fucked. No matter what I do or what I make, or ma no matter what I say, it's not going to matter from this point forward. Until the end of time. Until, well, not end of time. Until I'm gone. Until your death. Yes. <laughs> Which we even talked about this. Julian has an audio recording on his phone. I gave him permission that when I die, he's fine to just say everything. So anyone who is racing for me to also have my health fail so I die so I never say anything, there's a warning to you guys too. If you're hoping that that meant the truth would die with me, uh, no, it won't. It'll be right out there. So uh, yeah, if you're hoping that I was going to kill myself a few years back, oops, miscalculation, guess, oopsies. Guess what, fellas? I am not as nice as Ding Dong is. <laughs> It wasn't even specifically the idea of you should commit suicide. I had just attempted it. Literally, like, I'd say maybe just a few, maybe 10 hours, 11 hours prior. It was pretty recent that I had just attempted it. I brought it up to them, and that was the first thing they thought to respond with was, yeah, but wouldn't it be funny, though, if somebody did leave a note? Because, like, if you blamed, like, them for it, if you blamed, like, these two people, if you said, like, Aaron and Susie on that note, then, like, everybody would hate them, and they'd be, like, ruined. That was not a joke. That was a serious thing that they had said immediately after making it clear, you want me to fucking do it, don't you? You want me to do it, and you want me to leave a note, and you want to fucking exploit me on this. Are you kidding me right now? Okay, so now that you spoke up, no one's ever going to listen to you two again, but hey... If you killed yourself because of them, man, that would be a pretty powerful tool, wouldn't it? That'd be great. Yeah, your viability in life has run out. You fucking suck now. But hey, if you died, oh. I can still squeeze a bit of use out of you. Big tournament. I'm trying not to cry.